Hey everyone! So this is going to be part two of my favorite lipsticks collection video. I did do this in parts just because I thought it would be easier and um, so it's a little bit more organized for you guys. So if you guys missed part one, which was my favorite nude lipsticks, I will link it on the screen for you or I will put it in the drop down for you guys to check out. But today I'm going to be talking about my favorite pinks and reds and anything that kind of falls in between there. And I do have quite a few so I'm going to go kind of quickly. I'm not going to go into full detail with with each and every single one of them just because there are so many of them but I will be swatching them on my hand and I'll show you what they look like on my lips and if you guys are wondering what I have on my lips right now just wait towards the end I will be talking about this one as well so I'm just gonna get started with my um, lighter pinks and work um, into darker shades so the first one I have is actually a Maybelline baby lips and I have it in the color cherry me and this is what it looks like it's just a really pretty reddish color and I'll swatch it for you guys on my hand. So that's what the swatch of it looks like. It's just a really pretty sheer reddish color. It's very light and this is just really easy to put on and I think it's nice just because it's really moisturizing. Next I have a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain and this is in the color Honey. This is what it looks like. This is actually really close to my natural lip color and I like to think of this color as like a My Lips But Better lipstick and I will swatch it for you guys here. It's just a really pretty neutral mauve pink color that I really love and this actually has a minty scent to it which I actually really like this scent. Some people don't but I don't mind it at all. And next of course is a Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick in the color Primrose. And this is what it looks like. This is actually a really pretty pale pastel pink. And I'll swatch it for you guys right here. So that's what the swatch of it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see for sure. But this has a blue undertone. Definitely one of the more pale pinks that I have. But it is still very soft and pretty. Next is a Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in the color Vintage Pink. It is kind of similar to the Primrose. But this is much more of a purpley pink, I think. So I'll swatch it here for you guys. I love the color payoff on this. These are super creamy and the color is amazing. So again, it's a purpley pink color. It does have a little bit of blue undertone, but I just love this color. It's just a very wearable pink. Next is another Rimmel lipstick. It is the Lasting Finish Lipstick in the color Just So, and this is what it looks like. I think this is a gorgeous pink. I can wear this on like an everyday basis. And this is the swatch of it here. Again, a really pretty mauve pink. A little bit deeper than the other pinks, but I think this is really cool. Okay, next is a Revlon Lip Butter, and I love these things. And I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about these a bunch. Um, and this is in the color Raspberry Pie. This is such a gorgeous color. So here's the swatch of it. These are just so moisturizing and creamy. I love the color payoff. This is a deep berry kind of pinky color. I love it. Next is another Revlon lipstick. This is a color burst lipstick and this is in the color Fuchsia. Here's what it looks like. And this is in that like quilted um, kind of pattern packaging and I love this lipstick. I'll swatch it for you guys. It kind of matches my nails right now actually. So this is what it looks like. This is a really pretty vibrant fuchsia color. Very true to its name. I think it actually is pretty close to um, what the color is on the packaging. So that's really nice and I actually love this pink. It's really fun for going out. Okay, this one is a Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in the color In Vogue and it is another very vibrant fuchsia color and this one is actually different compared to the Revlon one I think because it does have a little bit more of a bluish undertone. It is just a little bit more brighter and more vibrant fuchsia I think. Again, it's a really fun color to wear out, um, especially for me because I wear a lot of darker clothing. So if you want to play with color, I think it's a great way to do so in your lipsticks. Okay, moving on, I have another Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, and this is a matte color. This is in the color Really Red. This is actually a very true red, as you can see, and I'll swatch it right here. I love that this is a matte lipstick just because these bright reds are so pretty in a matte texture. And I think that color is like the perfect color to do like a really wearable pretty red lip. So next is another Revlon Lip Butter and this is in the color Red Velvet. 
this is what it looks like here. This is a really deep red color and I'll swatch for you guys right here. So here's a better swatch of it here. I just love that it is a deeper red and it's got some shine to it and it's still really moisturizing. Okay, now we're getting into some of my favorite lip colors and these are a lot darker, a lot deeper colors and perfect for fall. And the first one I have is a Victoria's Secret lipstick and this is in the color Vino. This is what it looks like in the tube. As you can see, it is more of a plummy purple color and I just love the shade on. I just think this is a really pretty plummy color to have. And if you're afraid to go too dark, I think this shade is like perfect. And now let me tell you guys what's on my lips. I actually just picked this up recently. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Cherry Bomb. So this is what it looks like in the tube. It is a little bit intimidating because it is a deep, deep, darker red. And I'll swatch it for you guys. So here it is swatched. And I know it is a little bit intimidating for anyone who's not really used to a darker lipstick like this. But um, I just think it is a perfect vampy lip color for the season. And again, for a really kind of sexy look for going out, I think this is just the perfect color. I just think it's a color that everyone should try just because you never know what it looks like unless you put it on and it's just something you got to get used to seeing on yourself and I've really grown to love like a dark dark vampy lip like this and actually last but not least I have another Revlon lipstick and this is a matte color and this is in the color wine not this is what it looks like you guys might have heard this color before I think it's really similar to the wet n wild cherry bomb um, this one is just more of a matte texture. It is just as deep of a red, I think. Um, when it comes to matte lipsticks, I almost like to use um, this Baby Lips as kind of just a base to moisturize and looks a little bit nicer in case you're afraid of, you know, um, the matte lipstick defining any like cracks in your lips or dry lips. So I think like a really good moisturizing chip chat. Chip chat. really good moisturizing chapstick um, goes really great with darker um, lipsticks or matte lipsticks. So that does it for part two of my lipsticks collection and I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe you found some colors that you want to try out. If you guys have any other suggestions for me for lipsticks, make sure to leave a comment below and I will see you guys soon. Bye!